Hello everybody, we have some big freaking news as just yesterday, Apple had a big event, obviously, everyone has seen it, there was a point where there was 2.5 million people watching it live, and uh, after a failed live stream and failed video, this is my true 100% opinion on every single product that was announced at the event. So in the first few minutes, I mean maybe even like the first few seconds, um, other than the intro of course, they introduced the HomePod Mini, a tiny version of the HomePod. So like when I saw the blue things, I go, okay, this is a HomePod. Then it's, then I saw how small it is, like it's a HomePod Mini. And so basically it works almost like a HomePod already does, but I already don't have much to say about the HomePod Mini as, as it basically does everything what, that the HomePod does. Um, and a slightly less form factor, except for one thing, and that is you can connect your uh, HomePods together and make a like if they're in a desk together or on a bench or or like uh, uh, like a bookcase, whatever. Then you connect them together, and they will make one big stereo sound to fill up not just the room but the entire house. So that's pretty cool. The HomePod Mini will start at 100 bucks, which in my opinion is not bad, especially considering the price of the original HomePod. Now, iPhone! Of course, we were all waiting for the announcement of the iPhone 12 as a series of phones and wondering if they will have 5G, and the answer is yes, they will have 5G. And one company that's going to be supporting the heck out of it is Verizon. As in the keynote, uh, they just as announced that um, their uh, nationwide band is coming soon, and their 5G uh, ultra wide band, which is on a couple of phones already, is the is one of the fastest and will be shipping to more cities in America. Listen, I know we have carriers here too, but why? And I know there's something called SIM free here, but I don't know why can't um, 5G exist here too. I don't know. So then they uh, went on to discuss a bit about the iPhone 12, how obviously it has 5G, the A14 Bionic, which apparently people said it was going to be called the um, A14 like Ultra or something like that. I don't know. Apparently Apple are still keeping the Bionic name and they probably will forever. <laughs> they have the 11, 11 Bionic, 12 Bionic, 13 Bionic, and now 14 Bionic. So, so yeah, it has... Um, uh, it's a four core uh, a CPU and a six core GPU and it has the uh, neural engine built in it, which is pretty cool. So it's basically a uh, faster, more uh, cores of more processing power, more graphic power, which is pretty cool. And, uh, and, uh, and also it has 5G, 5G bands built into it. And then there's a ceramic shield. The ceramic shield is basically just a, a fancy term for a um, shield inside the screen. Basically saying that this is the most durable smart, uh, smartphone ever made. They said this for three years in a row. Anyway, other than the criticism there, I might um, consider this as, I mean, we all want our phones to be durable, right? But maybe in a year or so, Apple might just put some magic curse all over us, saying about how um, the phone is not durable again, just so that we can buy their new products. But that's not all, because the James Bond theme plays, and then it makes it look like Dr. No when it isn't, and there's millions and millions of um, cases to the point where there's a tiny one, and then BAM, iPhone 12 mini. And apparently, it's basically everything that the iPhone 12 is, except in a smaller, smaller form factor. And, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's for all you guys who love the iPhone SE, but with um, 0 0.7 inches more screen. So, guy yeah, wish granted. So, um, the iPhone 12 will uh, be starting at $799, and uh, the iPhone 12 Mini at $699, which is a bit weird. I thought I thought um, the um, iPhone 12 will start at $699, just like the iPhone 11 did when it first was first revealed, but whatever. 5G just 
brings the price in more. iPhone 12 will ship this Friday on the 16th and will be available on the 23rd, whereas the 12 mini will, um, will, uh, I don't know why everything got so dark there. It's like night, night mode only worse. Any, anyway, uh, the iPhone 12 mini, uh, uh, compared to the iPhone 12, will be available in, um, Will be available for pre-order on November sixth, and will be uh, shipped in November thirteenth. And so now the rest of the conference will have uh, information on the iPhone twelve Pro and iPhone twelve Pro Max. So this is basically what the uh, iPhone twelve um, is, but combined with elements of iPhone eleven Pro and eleven Pro Max, but this time different. So um, instead of having 5.8 inches on the main flagship standard phone, now they're putting it to 6.1 inches, which means that I don't need that extra telephoto camera. Thank you very much. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max is 6.7 inches, so 0.2 inches makes it a big deal, as it is now the largest screen um, in an iPhone ever made. Wow. It might be the largest screen in a phone, period, to be honest with you. So, uh... So they basically have the exact same features as the uh, iPhone 12 and 12 mini, 5G, uh, extra fast performance, the same A14 Bionic, um, but this time it has a, a scanner um, in addition to the three normal cameras that were for the 11 and 11 Pro Max, the wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, whereas the 12 and 12 mini have the wide and ultra wide, just like the iPhone 11, so they're basically sequels to last year. Anyway, uh, now there's something called the LiDAR scanner, which is something that, which is something so high tech that it can actually detect the the field around you when you actually take a, a photo. So it's like the camera app mixed with augmented reality. And can I just say that this might be almost useless? Nobody is going to use this except for the pros who make a living off of taking photos of I, from iPhones. Which might not be a lot of photographers out there, but if they are, then this is the phone for you. I think you can resist that. Anyway, um, they have the exact same form factor design, which can I say looks beautiful. We got our design that we needed, which is seems to be taking in inspiration from the iPhone 4 and 4S and 5S and 5. So, that was a bad order. So the iPhone 12 Pro will be available on um, for for pre-order at least on this Friday the 16th, and will uh, ship and the 23rd. And the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max will be the exact same as the 12 Mini. November 6th for pre-order. November 13th for availability. I feel like they're just doing it because they want to make it seem like unique phones. The iPhone 12 Pro will start at $999 and the um, iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, with, at $1,099. With the scanner and even HDR video recording, you still get it uh, with the same amount of money. Yes, HDR, Dolby Vision HDR. They both have it in them. Um, they had it ever since the iPhone 10 days, but they're now going to be able to record HDR video from the camera app too, at 4K at 60 frames per second. So can I also say, why have you not done this yet? Samsung has done it in the Note 10, which came out in August. I don't know why, excuse me, I don't know why you decided to do this two months later, but here we are. Wait a second. The Note 10 came out last year. Apple. You're way behind. So that was the uh, Apple event in a nutshell. And overall, I think it was pretty good. I mean, we were all expecting the uh, iPhone 12 and everything. I mean, I thought that there was going to be like a Mac and stuff like that. Because these new information just keep popping in my head all the time. Why don't I remember this as much? Anyway. You remember that old adapter named MagSafe that um, people in this place still ship today, but in America they're like, get yeah, with the times, mate. MagSafe now, instead of being a magnet to charge your um, MacBook, 
Now it is the same thing for the iPhone. Instead, it's going in the back. Ooh, in the back. So, basically, it's an accessory for uh, the iPhone 12 line of phones. And in my opinion, um, it's okay. But you might have to buy it separately, and you might have to keep your chargers too. Since rumors are spreading around that there will be no lightning, uh, not just lightning, there will be no charger in the box at all, just to reduce the box size. If this continues, then maybe next year there will be no iPhone box. They'll just ship it like that. I don't know why they decided to do this, but I don't really know uh, what to say next because it's Apple and it's Apple. Stop doing that, please. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, subscribe, and peace.